What's happening? This is Kevin Dolan from wagertalk.com breaking down another big game over in the NBA tonight as part of the NBA tip-off show. So let's get into it. First things first, I'm going to go right back to a game I talked about on Tuesday's show, and that's the Dallas Mavericks taking on the Sacramento Kings over in California tonight. You know, our best bet for that game on Tuesday was taking the Dallas Mavericks to win that game out right at even money. Really like that spot for them. They duly delivered, obviously, but you know, in a lot of ways, they almost over-delivered uh, in a lot of respects. And I'm going to come right back and take the other side in this one. You know, the Mavericks absolutely battered the Sacramento Kings by 36 points in that game. You know, Donkic, Irvin, Hardaway combined for 74 points. Dallas shot over 55% from both the floor and three-point range in that game as well, which was easily the best perimeter offense out of any team based on last game sample size. So... You know, we've got a situation tonight where we're likely going to see some massive regression from both teams in this one. You know, no way Dallas can maintain those same percentages, you know, long term in this one. Well, you know, Sacramento were almost 10% off from the floor in terms of their own shooting percentage in that game. So it's almost as if, you know, they can't be as bad either. But even more than the regression factor in this one, you know, Sacramento were just flat out embarrassed in home court and choose. You know, Dallas were up by 20 points heading into the fourth quarter of that game. And yet they just kept on running over Sacramento across the final 12 minutes as well. You know, barely missed the beat. They added another 36 of the tally in that fourth quarter, just for good measure as well, as if the Kings weren't already beaten in that game. So I think Sacramento are going to be fired up for this one. Um, on Friday, we go back to the last time, you know, the Kings were embarrassed by 20 points or more against Denver back at the end of last month. And, you know, Sacramento came right out in the next game and beat up Minnesota. So I was on Dallas on Tuesday night in this game. Uh, I'm going to switch sides for this one, though. I believe Sacramento takes the revenge win on home court tonight against the Mavericks. Um, in terms of the best bet, I'm going to take a look at the match matchup uh, between the Bulls and Nets tonight over in Brooklyn. But uh, before I do, I just want to mention there, you wait for rest of the season pass which is going on right now over a wage talk been a fantastic year for us in champions league uh, and europa league this season you know ranked number one on site 17.7 percent roi and if you use code uefa 79 uefa 79 over at my page right now you can lock in the rest of the uefa season all three competitions spread across the champions league europa league and europa conference league all the way through until the champions league final on june 1st for only 79 dollars so Plenty of action still left to play for. And to get all three tournaments for only $79 represents one of the deepest discounts we've ever done in soccer over at Wager Talk. So great time to jump on board ahead of the competition, resuming in 10 days' time. Back to the best bet. I'm going to take the Chicago Bulls tonight to win and cover on the road against the Brooklyn Nets on Friday. You know, I like the spot for Chicago tonight. Uh, Brooklyn returning home, coming off back-to-back -back, uh, road wins. But those wins were... You know, a little dubious, you say. Toronto were absolutely abysmal from three-point range in that game on Monday night. They shot just 18.5% from the perimeter. Their rebound percentage was absolutely awful as well. And, you know, they were still leading Brooklyn in that game um, going into the fourth quarter, I think, with 10 minutes left. So, you know, we saw Cam Thomas go off on Wednesday night against the Washington Wizards for Brooklyn. Uh, he scored 36, uh, 38 points, um, seven assists as well. But... You know, it's really just a bit of a MacGyver way of doing business for Brooklyn right now. You know, they're getting wins granted, but they either need a complete collapse from the opponent or, you know, a magical night from the floor from one of their players. Um, as just purely on a night-to-night -night basis, this team just isn't that good. You know, while I have Chicago and Brooklyn rated similarly from a season-long perspective, um, I have the Bulls just marginally ahead in my power rankings in that regard. But when we turn over to recency bias, that's where the gap starts to widen for me. Uh, I have Chicago significantly stronger right now in terms of recent form. Uh, I think they're playing the much better ball of the two currently. And the data backs that up as well. You know, the Bulls' offensive efficiency numbers, despite that recent 1-3 and three record across the last four starts, has actually jumped from 19th to 9th in the league, with their defense also allowing 3.6 points per game less than average to opponents across that same time frame as well. So I think this is a perfect storm for Chicago tonight. I think... Brooklyn's two recent wins are a bit of a smoke and mirrors job, in all honesty. And I do expect the Bulls to take care of business on the road tonight in Brooklyn. So, yeah, Chicago Bulls for me, best bet.